my spinach artichoke pasta bake. I hope you guys have all of your ingredients ready. Let's get cooking. Nice to see you guys. I'm so excited to be cooking with you guys. Um, so I know if you guys follow me on my social media platforms, I had asked you guys um, which recipe you wanted me to cook uh, today. We had the spinach artichoke pasta bake or the um, fried, well, shrimp and pork fried rice. And guess what, Juan, you guys? The spinach artichoke uh, pasta bake. That really seems to be a fan favorite and it's also a favorite um, in my house. But I'm so excited to be cooking along with you guys today. Uh, but before we um, get cooking, I just wanted to say that today is also a huge celebration. Uh, we are celebrating um, my cookware line, Spice by Tia. We are on sale, you guys! On sale um, through this weekend. Actually, today is the last day. Um, my 10-piece uh, non-stick ceramic uh, cookware uh, set is $15 off exclusively at walmart.com. So you guys make sure you head on over to walmart.com right now for that 10-piece uh, cookware set. It is $15 off. I will get into more about that cookware set later and tell you why I love it. Um, but first, we have to get this food in the oven. Um, so I'm looking at the comments right now. Are you guys ready? Hey, are you guys? Hi, uh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. Are you ready to uh, get cooking? All right, let's get this party started. So um, I have a, uh, a number where um, I talk to people and you guys can text me. And with that number, I had uh, told you guys all of the ingredients that we will be using today. Let me know in the comments if you guys are ready and if you have those ingredients prepped so we can get going. <laughs> Somebody said, are you cooking in heels? Do you really wanna see if I'm cooking in heels? I, I don't know, it's, I'm always, you know, I mean, I love cooking in heels, you know what I mean? It makes it, it makes it fun. Um, okay, so let's get started. So first, what I'm gonna do, and you guys, this is actually um, a baking dish uh, from my cookware line as well. I use it all the time, I absolutely love it. You can find this also on walmart.com. It's not on sale, but you can find it there. Um, so basically, what we're gonna do first is I want you to grab your baking dish, and I'm gonna take some butter, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cover this baking dish with this butter, right? Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is when we put our pasta uh, mixture in here, we don't want the pasta to stick to the dish. So that's why we are doing this. And so basically I just take, you know, stick of butter, and I just kind of, you know, just kind of rub it all over the pan. Don't be shy with it, okay? All right. If you guys wanna ask me questions too, let me know. Um, what is it, what is it? Uh, you guys are so, thank you. I mean, if, I ever, if I'm ever like feeling down, I should totally do more of these because you guys are so incredibly nice. Aw, I love you too. Okay, let me just, uh, wash my hands really quick. Okay, so our baking dish is ready to go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start grating some ingredients, right? The reason why I love this uh, dish is because it is so incredibly easy, you guys. You're just dumping all of your ingredients into this baking dish and you're just gonna put it into the oven. Oh, I forgot to tell you, preheat the oven at 350 degrees. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. There we go. Okay, so we have our baking dish prepped. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a yellow onion, okay? And then we are gonna grate this onion. The reason why I like grating it as opposed to just kind of mincing it or cutting it is because when you bite into your pasta, I don't want like big chunks of you know, onion. So I always like to just grate it. And I'm just gonna grate half of this down. Um, Cause this is kind of like a big onion and the recipe calls for um, a medium sized onion. 
And if you guys uh, don't have the ingredients for this recipe because you guys are, um, you didn't get it through my uh, phone number, um, you can totally check out this recipe in my cookbook, um, Quick Fix Kitchen. And I'm telling you, I've made this so many times for the kids and they just absolutely love it. So we're grating this down. And then um, I'm gonna start grating some garlic as well. Um, but I guess while I'm doing this, do we have any questions? Ah, I love you too. <laughs> Um, I love onion, but um, options for people who don't like onion. If you don't like onion, just don't use it. Just don't put it in there. Because um, I'm also gonna grate up some garlic. So I think garlic is also okay for this dish. Um, okay, so we got this going. Okay. All right, so I really think that this is fine. This is okay. Oh, this is actually coming out a little watery. <laughs> oh, the onions, wait a minute. I don't usually use this grater. And y'all, this came out, what is going on? But anyway, stuff happens, I'm telling you, when you're in the kitchen. Let's try it this way. Uh, I do not know why this is coming out like this, but I guess this is fine. But anyway, you just want your onions to be really nice and not like too chunky. That's the object of it. Um, okay, so I feel like I'm spending a lot of time on this. Let's just move on to the garlic. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our garlic, right? And we're just gonna go ahead and grate that down. And again, the reason why I am grating the garlic is because I don't want chunks of garlic in this pasta dish as well. And this is also from my, um, my line, Spice by Tia. Okay, so let's see, do we have any questions? You guys are just, you're, my gosh, I thank you. You're so sweet. Oh, you love garlic. And you know, garlic is, is actually really, really good for you. I'm always cooking with garlic. Okay, I'm telling you guys, this is the hardest part of this dish is just doing all of this grating. But then after this, we're just gonna just start dumping everything into the baking dish. Uh, let's see, thank you. So, <laughs> a comment, I, you, guys, you guys are so sweet. Uh, let's see, I, I, I should have my glasses on you guys because I can't see anything. Okay, what am I cooking? So I am cooking my spinach artichoke pasta bake, and it's actually from my cookbook. It's a very easy um, dish that I make all the time. So this is actually what the garlic should look like, you guys, once it's, uh, once it's grated. Um, okay, which I feel is a enough. Okay, all right, so now we're moving on. Here and this over here. So what we're gonna do is we're now just gonna start adding everything into our baking dish. So I'm gonna add, this is actually spinach artichoke um, dip. You can just get this at any grocery store. Um, we're just gonna add this into the baking dish. Okay, just like that. And let me see, how much of this am I adding into the spinach? This is one ounce of the uh, spinach artichoke dip. Okay, so we have that in there. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my garlic that I've grated, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my onion, which came out, guys, this onion is like, has a lot of liquid, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and add our, our onion there, okay? And then we are gonna add some mozzarella cheese, okay? 
I'm just gonna put that in there. Again, all of this is just going into this uh, baking dish. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our pasta. Okay, just add it all into this dish. And then we're gonna add our spinach. Now, this is frozen spinach that I'm using. And basically I wanted to make sure that I thawed it out and I squeezed it so I can get rid of all of the liquid. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this in there. Okay, get all of that in there. And again, the reason why I love making this for my family is because it's just so incredibly easy, you guys. As you can see, the hardest part was just grating with the onions and the garlic. So, I put everything into my baking dish, like so. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of mix all of this together, right? So that everything is evenly distributed and combined, okay? Just like that. We have our ovens, or my oven heating up right now. And then I'm just kind of mixing all of this together. And you guys, this dish has so much flavor, as you can tell. I mean, we have the, the spinach artichoke dip with the actual spinach, the onion, the garlic. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some vegetable broth to this. Okay. Let's see. How are you guys doing on this Sunday? This looks like it's gonna be yummy. What is the name of the dish that you're making? This is my spinach artichoke pasta bake. And you guys can get this recipe in my cookbook, Quick Fix Kitchen. As you can see, it is very simple and quick. Um, okay, all right. So I'll show you guys what this looks like because you just want, you know, everything to be nicely distributed in this uh, baking dish, right? We wanna make sure that these, or the pasta is being covered up with this uh, mixture that we have going on, okay? All right, there we go. Okay, so this is what it looks like, you guys. See, do you see how cool and easy that is? And now what I'm gonna do, the reason why, again, I love making this dish is because it's, it's very easy, it's quick, and I'm just, I love one pot meals whenever I'm cooking. It's just less cleanup. And it's just very easy. So I'm not, I'm not cooking the pasta separately, which is what you would usually do is, you know, you would cook pasta in another um, pot, but I'm cooking the pasta in this dish. And we're gonna throw it in the oven. And basically I'm gonna add some liquid to it and we're gonna um, add the liquid, uh, I mean the uh, vegetable broth. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add that to dish and then I'm just gonna again mix it all together and this vegetable broth is just gonna add again flavor to this dish the um, the noodles or the pasta should I say is just gonna soak up all of that flavor and it's gonna also the the vegetable stock is gonna um, you know basically help the pasta cook you know we have to cook it in some sort of liquid. So instead of water, we are using vegetable broth, which is just gonna add so much flavor. Okay, so I'll show you guys what this looks like. And we're just gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. Um, and then halfway through, we're gonna stir. And the reason why we're gonna do that, because if you don't, then just the pasta on top is gonna cook and we want all of the pasta um, to cook with this dish. Okay, so, all right. Let me get a paper towel here. And then I have to um, put some foil on top of this as well. But I just wanted to show you guys what this looks like. Okay, 
So, do you see how easy that is? And you guys, this is so incredibly good. Thank you. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna add, uh, we're, we're just gonna put some foil on top of this. And then we are gonna throw this into the oven to bake. Like I said, it's called my pasta bake. Um, oh, you guys are seeing my stone, yes. Do you guys like it? Mr. Corey Hardrick, he uh, got it for me for Mother's Day. Aw, you guys are so sweet. Okay, oh, the red string. So my mother, she actually gives all of the kids this string. Um, and basically what she does is she just prays over it. So it's, you know, just for, it's like a blessing, you know what I mean? Um, safety, my mom, she, my, my kids had it too. Um, okay, all right. So you guys, this is gonna go in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. Again, halfway through, we're gonna um, take it out and just give it a nice stir. Okay, all right, so let's make sure that the oven is really nice and hot. Oh wow, we have other pots in here. Okay, <laughs> this is what happens when you're live. <laughs> okay, you guys, I have to get these pots out of the oven really quick. Uh, let's see, okay. Eee. Okay, and these are actually my, my cast iron, I keep my cast iron skillets in the oven, so I just have to take these out for a minute, okay. Hold on. here and then we can talk about the promotion you guys which I'm so incredibly excited about we've been having such an incredible response so thank you so much um, okay y'all I love to clean as I go when I cook so I'm just gonna clean up a little bit let's see okay all right, so are you guys ready to talk about my 10 piece non-stick ceramic set, cookware set? Let's go. Okay, so you guys, like I said, while this is in the oven, I wanna to talk to you guys about this incredible promotion that's going on exclusively at walmart.com. $15 off my 10 piece non-stick uh, ceramic cookware set. And I will tell you why I absolutely love this set. So, with this set, you will get a Dutch oven, right? You can put pasta in here, stews in here, so many things, okay? You will get a baking sheet. And why I love this set, you guys, is because I wanna set you guys up for success in the kitchen, and I feel like this is like everything you need to, you know, have a party in the kitchen, right? And it's just kind of like that one-stop shop of getting all of the essentials that you need to have fun in the kitchen. Okay, so we have our Dutch oven, we have our baking sheet, we have um, our, this is an amazing, you guys, um, what would I call this? I would call this, what would I call this, this one? This is just a saucepan. Um, so I have, oh yeah, I have two saucepans with this set. Um, we have this saucepan, and then we have a smaller saucepan here. So there's two saucepans in different sizes. Um, then we have a 
frying pan. I use this all the time, you guys. Making eggs in this is like the best, okay? And then we have some kitchen tools. Um, so I'll tell you why I absolutely love this line. Um, number one, it has nonstick uh, ceramic uh, a surface, which when I'm cooking, you know, <laughs> I just want my food to just, you know, slide off. Um, it also, it's really hard to burn, you know, your food when you have a great nonstick um, pan. But also, the reason why I love a nonstick is you can use less butter, right? Or less oil, um, which basically encourages healthier cooking, right? And who doesn't want that? Um, I love that this um, is BPA free and PFOA free, which is really, really important to me. And another thing that I really, really like about this line is it has a stay cool, uh, it has stay cool soft touch handles, which means you, the reason why I like it is you can move your pots from burner to burner without, you know, worrying about, you know, the handles like burning you or it being too hot. You don't have to use a kitchen towel. Um, you could just, no matter how hot the pot gets, you can just grab it. You can also take it, you know, from the stove to the table, you know, which just again makes an easier, fun cooking experience. Um, another reason why I absolutely love uh, this line is the colors. You guys, I mean, look at the colors. It comes in mint, which is this color, which I absolutely love. It comes in gray and it also comes in a, um, a teal color. And you know, I want you guys to just have fun in the kitchen. I don't want you to feel overwhelmed at all. So that's one of the main reasons why I decided to, you know, uh, have bright colors with, with the cookware line. Because again, whenever I'm cooking, I want it to be a party, right? And I just feel like these vibrant colors um, just makes cooking just a lot of fun. It's, it's just a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, so that's some of the main reasons why I, I love this line. Again, make sure you guys check it out on walmart.com, $15 off on the 10 piece um, nonstick ceramic um, cookware set. So make sure you guys check that out. It's only, today's the last day you guys, so it's only going on through the weekend. So make sure you head on over there right now. Oh my gosh, I just noticed how many people are in this live. Thank you guys so much for showing up. Oh, are those measuring cups too? Gosh, you guys see everything. Yes. So these are measuring cups from my line as well. Um, yeah. So again, I want it to be, you know, bright colors. Um, so it just makes being in the kitchen, you know, a lot of fun. Um, yeah. So you guys, please ask me questions. The Pasta is in the oven baking right now. We have plenty of time. Let's see, we have nine minutes until I take it out and start um, just, you know, stirring it. And then I'm gonna put it back into the, uh, the, the oven. But please, uh, you guys are so sweet. Start firing away and uh, asking questions. What am I doing? I'm cooking. <laughs> uh, guys, let me know if you wanna, um, See, oh, thank you. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of these, these lives with you guys. I mean, I'm always, you know, doing cooking videos and stuff like that on my Instagram or on my socials. But if you guys want to see me cook, you know, more in live time, uh, live, live in action, should I say, uh, let me know. Um, okay. Um, yes, do more lives. Okay, I'll totally, totally do more lives for you guys. Thank you, you're so beautiful and funny and down to earth. Hey, I can only be myself, right? Um, thank you. I love my outfit, guys. <laughs>